Welcome back, everybody, to Pizzas. And Pandas. And today we have so many things to talk about. I'm so excited. Dude, can, uh, we, can we first of all talk about the new cameras that we, we got? We got new versions? cameras. You might see that we're a little bit clearer. Um, I think we'd be... You know what? That actually brings me into my second topic. Our cameras are great. Yeah. Second of all, you're fixing your hair. What is going on up there? Oh, you just yeah. What is ha- like? I want to know what's going on. I, I knew head. you were gonna say something about it. I, I didn't. I, I just realized that you were gonna say it for the podcast. So um. <laughs> yeah, because we were talking about this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah We yeah, were yeah. talking about um, we were talking about your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were also talking about how like. You're in this, every single pod, I can't speak, but every single I podcast, yeah. we've talked about your hair being in the mid stage of we don't know what's <laughs> Dude, happening. Yeah. It's been in like the middle stage between buzz cut <laughs> and growing it out. We have been in the mid stage. We've been in the mid stage every single episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's been quite some time. So I don't know what's happening. So so it's just like, you. it's, it's very hard to move on from the mid stage to the, to the next stage because it's just like, there needs to be like a month where I just grow my hair out and not cut it. Okay. Right. And I just not doing that. I just haven't put my foot down. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like I haven't like put the ring on it yet. It's just like, I'm kind of just like, I'm I'm just in the talking stage though. Like I just can't get, I can't get over it. I can't get over it right now. I'm in the talking stage right now. And it's just like, cause I, so I start work on Monday. I'm working in a corporate, uh, in a corporate job. And, yeah, uh, but like things, you're gonna fit right in. Everyone's hair is gonna look like that. Yeah, yeah, but that, that was the point. And that everyone's hair is gonna have your kind of hair. Yeah, like everyone's probably gonna be. Your yeah, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yesterday, uh, Friday, I think I went to go get my hair cut. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just got a cut. I just got. I a just cut. got mine cut too. But like, I seen yours. Yours is fire. Like my my sides are good. My, I just didn't style the top today, so I. As I usually do, I just yeah. chuck on a hat. Running the bass. Yeah. The little, little bass pro. pro. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I, I sat down at the barbershop, right? And then, uh, I, like, I literally looked the exact same before I got this haircut, by the way. So, <laughs> so how much did you spend? <laughs> like $40. You spent $40. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. $40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I sat, I sat down. I was like, okay, listen, like, my job starts on Monday and I'm going to work in a big office. So I can't get, like, some kind of taper or fade, right? And then my barber was like... Like you probably could, but like I get what you're saying, right? So then you definitely could. Yeah. I don't think like I could walk in with a fresh fade into mine, but like mine's a little different than yours. Yeah, but I, I just like I just went like I was like you want to be whatever. like a professional, like little like yeah, like university student that like is really interested in his exactly. studies and I really want to be super Asian about it. Yeah, you got to be super Asian about yeah. it, and I really hope that it works out for you. But I'm hoping that this podcast blows up so you can just never be Asian again. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, it, if it does, then I can't. It's just yeah, there's no you're going never gonna be. But yeah, you see, you see all my sides. I got like the chop up. It's like yeah, it's like straight. And oh, you look. So, oh my god, that side angle that you you're know my I mean? angle right now. You look so like. Yeah, it's like like Chinese. It's like, let me talk to you about Ibero. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't some, even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Also, I want to but, talk uh, about. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be driven. So I, my job, I'm going on a, uh, a on a construction site yeah, for yeah. a bit. I'm doing sales, but I'm doing. I want to. I'm learning about the product. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll be so drippy mm-hmm. because they said to like get steel toe boots. Right. And I found these steel toe Timberlands that I just look so drippy. Yep, in. So I can't yep. wait. I can't wait to be the drippiest one in the factory. Because yeah. you know? I'm doing a factory job. Yeah, and you're doing a, you get that you reimburse, right? I think. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. I don't know about all of it because they didn't give me a budget. Mm-hmm. And I know that I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> yeah, on the Timberlands. On the Timberlands. Like, they're actually one of the most expensive ones there. <laughs> um, but I said, like, I'm like, yeah, if they don't give me, like, I told my dad, if they don't give me a full refund on it, like, I'll pay for them. Because okay, I just okay. want to be drippy. Yeah, but like, I can sick. wear those outside of it. Like, I know they're steel toe, but like, you can wear those. W- to like the club, like yeah, like, like, yeah those are club. hard. And then, you know, yeah. if I get into like a scrap, I kick them in their face, and they're yeah. like, "I broke their jaws because <laughs> they're steel toe." Like, imagine getting into a fight. If someone got into a fight with me, yeah. and I'm wearing the steel toe Timberlands. Graphic warning, guys. All <laughs> I have to do, no, not kick. All I have to do is kick them in the shin. If I kick them in the shin, <laughs> it, they're breaking their shin. Yeah, it's <laughs> steel toe. Yeah, yeah. And I played footy. I got a good kick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I got some things on my phone. I'm okay, sorry okay. to go on my phone, but I got some things I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, first was your hair. Yeah. Second. Oh, I have a quick question okay. before you before you said something. If we were to do a pop up, is it gonna be is it gonna be like pop up on both our screens? On the what do you mean? Like, like if, if we wanted to be pop like, up, if I were to be like this. Yeah. No, see, because we have two cameras now, so we're gonna have to switch between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be whoever goes like this. So oh, whoever gets okay. there first. <laughs> yeah, like, I got it. I'm gonna be like, yo, guys, I'm gonna put up right here. <laughs> Damn, I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. yeah whoever gets there first is gonna right. get it. Um, but so the first thing I want to talk about actually is gonna get a pop up. So I went to this, I want to talk to you because I went to this super 
high end Chinese restaurant before I left Florida. <laughs> okay. Like it was Chinese food and it was amazing. And mm-hmm. it was like the super high end restaurant that I like I was kind of on my way to the airport and I'm like, I have some time, let me get some food, right? Yeah. So I went to this like I don't I it's it's really high end, it's super popular, and it's like apparently it's like super authentic. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Panda Express? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like I saw it coming, but it still caught me. Like it still caught me good. I saw something coming, but it still okay. So yeah. I went to the super high end restaurant, Panda oh, Express. Okay, Panda Express. And I got Panda Express. Now okay. I'm gonna, but I'm like, damn. I was, I was getting the Panda Express. Yeah. Uh, I got orange chicken with noodles <laughs> in like a nice box, nice yeah. takeout box. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was, I was going to send you a photo, but I thought, you know what? Let me just show you a photo. So I asked people working. I said, hey, mm. I made up some some story. I was like, just to make sure my mom knows I'm eating so she doesn't hate me mm-hmm. and I'm safe. Can I take a selfie with you guys? They're like, sure. So I took a selfie <laughs> with the Panda Express workers. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. So I have the selfie on my phone. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to win oh. here. I, I, I beat that. So I'm going to put it up here. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to show you right now that the selfie I took. With the Panda Express workers. Chris goes because. around taking selfie with Asian people, bro. Like, this is crazy <laughs> no, right now. No, that's the best thing. They weren't Asian. <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's> right. <laughs> I saw that the, there was an Asian <laughs> cook in the back, so I knew it was legit. But Oh, okay. Yeah. But, like, yeah Wait, front, zoom in. <laughs> the frontline workers were not Asian. Yo, zoom in on the lady, uh, Asian lady in the back, though. That's crazy. Oh, is she back there? Yeah, look. I look, don't even see. W Asian oh, lady. <laughs> Asian lady, there's an Asian lady sweating up in the yeah, back. That's crazy. But I'm, I'm gonna have it up here. I'll, I'll, you guys will be able to see if you're listening on. Uh, oh wow, what a thing. cute video or what a cute picture. If you're listening, uh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but like you can uh, pop up on this. Well, pop up on the YouTube. Pop Come on, on the the YouTube, TikTok, see the clip. See the clip. This will probably get clipped. <laughs> yeah, this will. This will or won't. Well, uh, probably. You're yeah, right. probably. Yeah, probably. Get, get, get this clip. You know, check yeah. out the YouTube. Check out the TikTok. So. It wasn't great. I, I didn't even finish it. It was a lot of food. I, I was full. Yeah. So, okay. So, yo, so, the Asian guys, like, they give you value in the food that you oh, get. Oh, the value is insane. I spent 10 US dollars, but still. And they, they just. And it was, they just go. I was like, 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 it was so big that they had to. So they, they grabbed me like, like a, basically a handful of noodles. Okay. Chucked yeah. it in there. They used tongs or whatever, yeah, yeah. but they grabbed me a handful <laughs> of noodles. Chucked that in there. Then. They get the chicken, one scoop of chicken. Yeah, just They're do, not done. Do. Two scoops of oh. chicken. Where they had to literally push the chicken down. Yeah, yeah. Like the to, box doesn't close. To close right? the box. Yeah. It was insane. I'm like, I can't finish. I'm going on a flight. I'm going to be in that laboratory. Yeah. All you're going to hear for the next two hour <laughs> flight is like the, <laughs> the, the, the toilet flushing because <laughs> I'm going to be ripping it up. You'd be going, yeah. Um, yeah, go so that hard was in bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? It wasn't, it didn't taste too bad. But the thing is, it didn't taste too bad. It didn't taste too bad. <laughs> was it good? It was good. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, um, yeah, it was pretty. It was, it was like fast food, right? So it's like yeah. fast Chinese. But the thing that's crazy is they don't. They give you a fork. I was in Tampa, Florida. They didn't give you chopsticks. I had to ask for chopsticks. Oh, okay. Because I just I find it's easier to eat that with chopsticks. Because a fork, like, because you're Chinese, like you just feel more Chinese. I, you know what? I, I now that I think about, it, there's no real reason for me to use chopsticks. Because it doesn't. It's not more. I efficient. didn't have to go. <laughs> I not. didn't have to go out of my way to get. <laughs> well, I like eating with chopsticks, and I want to start eating more with chopsticks, just okay. even like regular food. Yeah. Because I find that it's harder. Yeah. Which means I can eat slower. Oh. Because when I eat normally, I, I just you nail that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I gotta I gotta start eating with chopsticks more yeah. because then it makes it. Yeah, I'm like that too though. I'm like you that fast? too. Yeah, I eat fast. Eating with chopsticks. Well, you're a trained professional. I'm, chopsticks. I'm there. Like I like you. I didn't even like, pick stuff up. I just. Like, like you know what I mean? You know, like there's a Morgan Wallen song, "Born yeah. with a Beer in My Hand." Yeah, it's their country. They're born with a beer in my hand. You were born with chopsticks, <laughs> born with the chopsticks in, your in my hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah you were yeah. born with chopsticks. Does, does, does your girlfriend ever say anything about you eating fast? About me eating fast? Yeah, yeah, but I love it because the thing is, she <laughs> yeah, eats <but> slow. <laughs> so she's like, "Wow, you eat so fast! Here, have some of mine." <laughs> okay. I'm so like, <laughs> "Okay." So there's a there's a benefit to that. Yeah, then I get fat. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, like. Chopsticks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Dude, chopsticks. I love them. Yo, um, so I have something else I want to talk I have a lot of things to talk about. Franklin is not prepared today. Yeah. Um, but um, but he didn't um, react. And yeah, just yeah. Said, just talk, it's going to be more of the Dante show right now. It's just pizzas and pandas. It's pizzas and pandas. Today. Yeah, so, it's yeah. pizzas and pandas. Um, right, let's see this. So the next ne- 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 one, this next one, have you ever heard of a Tiberian fought? It's native to China and Tibet. A Tiberian fought. Fox. I said fought. Okay. Fox. A Tiberian fox. You said fought fox. two times. I, got, yeah. I was like, So I'm going to put it up right here. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna show you Damn. the time. Dude, yeah, I yo, you that's crazy. I got, you again. Good. I got you again. I'm gonna pull it up. So the Tiberian fox. Yeah. Um, I think it's Tiberian. Okay. It's from Tibet, so I'm assuming t- Tibet is maybe is the 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 people of Tibet are they Tiberian? Is that China? Hmm. Is Tibet China? Is that like a political thing that happens out there that I don't know about, or like people like call it China when like they think it's like China should own it and like they're trying to break I, I don't off? Know. I don't know. Is it, is it China or no? I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I, I have no was, clue, actually. I thought it was Tibet. <laughs> Do you not know what Tibet is? I thought it was a country. Where's Tibet? I'm assuming near China. I don't know. I, I saw this fox. Well, let's see this fox. Well, you know what I mean? So I'm going to put it up. I, I said there, but we're going to put it up now because I want his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Why? How did that happen? <laughs> How did they get the, the features too, bro? <laughs> Wow, they How got the features too, did dog. The, that the Tibetan fox. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> scrolling and it's like it gets smaller. <laughs> How does it look Chinese? <laughs> How does the fox look Chinese? Wow, dude, that's so crazy. Like, isn't that nuts? Yeah, it's definitely like our year because they definitely <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you showed me that fox and you asked me where that fox was from, you're like, yeah, uh, yeah. That's, that's a Chinese. Fox. That's a Chinese that's fox. A Chinese bro. fox. Wow, isn't that crazy? And it's like I'm gonna just be throwing up photos here on both. Yeah, of our just throwing photos. And it's like it's like the same thing with pandas too. Like if you take out the black circle on the panda's face, their eyes are like mine. Really? Yeah, like it's very tiny, Damn. which is crazy. It's like what are they like? Oh, well, they. What do we? <laughs> like what do we do out there? You know what I mean? I, I think maybe it's crazy. like it's like. The animals you don't eat get the feature because they're like, as like a thank you for not eating me. Oh, because that's it's like we're gonna look more like you, so you don't want to eat us. It's right, the right. fence mechanism. The fence mechanism. Because that's how they adapt. Because they, they're like, because then you guys are like, are like, oh, these guys kind of look like us. We don't want to eat them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, big round eyes, dogs and cats are. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're not one of us. <laughs> yeah, not one of us. They gotta adapt. Wow, um, bro. So I want to talk to you. I don't know why, but for some reason, everything I wrote down. Or a lot of the things I wrote down today are like is about Chinese people. Oh well, I don't um, know why either. Actually. <laughs> like, yeah, but there's another crazy, thing huh? that, that I don't know if you've seen, okay. but a lot of 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 the people of China mm-hmm. um, are. I don't want to say it's like they're kind of getting like African, like you know how like like you like my hair super thin, right, and like super like wavy and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. you know, your hair's a bit thicker, but it's still long, and you know like like. Like okay. A lot of people in Africa, like maybe more Central Africa, have like like black curly hair. Yeah, yeah. A lot of I saw online a lot of some Chinese. I don't want to say a lot of, but some Chinese people and maybe not just Chinese, but Asian people are getting that style of hair. Like, have you? I'm gonna pull up. Like, gonna, what, like the Central African kind of curly hair. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull up a video. Yeah. That's that's usually my go-to when I play like 2K. <laughs> yeah. I, I get the uh, I get the curls well, on. These guys aren't playing 2K. They're like <laughs> these guys are real they're life. getting it. So they're getting like box braids and they're getting like cornrows. And oh, stuff. they're getting braids. Yeah, but it's not your like I don't know if they're getting implanted hair or what's happening. But like no, that's got to be real. In a way, that's implants. Like it might be that that they're cutting their hair short and like connecting them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, they're yeah, yeah. literally getting like like that kind of African style hair. Yeah. Like I don't want to say like black people hair because I don't think it's. I think it, it like even like some like Middle Eastern stuff like that have like that short coiled hair. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But but a lot of yeah a lot of. Uh, so Asian people are getting that too. Yeah. So you're trying to figure out like what I think about that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. No, okay, I know. Okay. I, I couldn't ask you a question. I know. I was, I was my, waiting my for a question to come from. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept explaining the just concept. Said, yeah. I was waiting for you. To I get say it. Something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I want to know what you think about that. Um, I I think like would you do it? Because like with, <laughs> what's going on the top of your head, you need something. Dude, I would do it. I now. think honestly. If you did that and someone came up to you and said, what the fuck, like this is like cultural <laughs> appropriation. Yeah. Sorry for swearing. Um, I think that you could just show them a picture of before and they'll be like, I right, like, yeah, you know what? Fine. We'll allow you. We'll allow you because that what's going on right now is just not. Yeah. I got How the, are I you going to go into the workplace like that? I don't know. I, just, I think it's just you'll fit right in. So I think that's notice. the point because it's like you'll fit right in. Yeah. If I go in like, like this, it's like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, it's like Chinese. Just <laughs> smart Chinese. <laughs> like a, so, what do you think about that? Energy. So, I think, but like, I'm not, I'm not one to say because my hair is not naturally like that. So then, it's like people who have natural hair like that might get offended. But I think it's cool. I think it's sick. Right. Oh yeah, because then like, will natural blondes get affected? Affected at fake, fake blondes? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
but like you know what I mean? It's like, like the world we live in now. We don't we don't want to just offend people, right? Because people might take things more. seriously. I think everyone gets offended now, but like this podcast is not. We are ready to offend. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we are testing the waters. <laughs> we're offended. <laughs> we're going to offend you. No, we're, if we're you not. watch pizza, we're not and offending Man, anyone. If you watch pizza and pandas, we're going to offend you. <laughs> Stop, we make stop, it our stop. goal to offend. Everybody, you. chill. We're not offending nobody. This is this is children friendly. Okay, we love you guys. Nick A thirty. Um, Nick A thirty. Yeah, Nick A thirty. Uh, that's how we're trying to do it. Um, yeah, I think it's cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I think it's sick. And also, like, I mean, like, like I'd love to have cornrows, yeah. but I just couldn't. Yeah. But I don't. I won't. Yeah. Like, you know, can I tell you about a fun fact about Chinese people? That's handy. that's very like biased like in in the in the media and stuff because they don't talk about this right you guys are super racist we're actually super like racist yeah we are super racist though but like like we're stereotypical like we're not racist because we don't we don't hate a we don't hate a race because that's do what you mean that is. you like are stereotypical in the sense of like a lot of stereotypes are true because we like, believe that they are true what like, cause like, do you like do like realistically? You guys do a lot of Western stereotypes. Yeah, because I feel like there's a lot of stereotypes about Italians that we don't do. Yeah, like everyone's in the mafia. No yeah. one's in the mafia. Like, yeah, everyone eats pizzas and pizzas and pandas. Everyone, pizzas and pizzas and pandas. Pandas. everyone eats. Everyone watches pizzas and pandas. Yeah. No, watch well, pizza. <laughs> 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 no, like everyone eats pizza and pasta. Yeah, we eat a lot of pasta. We don't even eat a lot of pizza for yeah. the most part unless we make it. I think mostly because it doesn't like reach our standard of what. Yeah. Kind like of some good stereotypes are true and some stereotypes like, yeah, aren't, like, right? But there like, are these like, stereotypes. Like hit me with a few that you would think about yourself. That I was thinking about myself. Yeah, because I could think of a lot. <laughs> uh, we all have small eyes, right? Which is true. What uh, about small eyes? All... Uh, oh, is that yeah. fact? Yeah. Is BBC a myth? <laughs> Wait, is BBC a myth? We're not part of the BBC. I know. Oh, I know. But we're, I'm, part, we're part uh, of the SCC. <laughs> we're part of the small <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> yeah. We're part of the SCC. Um, I think I'm going to tone you down here because I think you're a bit loud. Okay, but, yeah, tone but, me down a little um, bit. Um, is, is BBC a myth? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't guess, think it I, is. I wish I would know. I, <laughs> me I too. Guess, I, <laughs> I mean, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know how we would find out. Pause. I just like... Uh, you can ask. We can ask? Yeah, we could ask. Anyways, let's continue with your stereotypes. Okay. So you guys have small eyes. Yes, yes. Uh like you know, we drive bad. You're a decent driver. I don't think I don't think the drive bad one is real. I think that's just be like oh. that derived from having small eyes and not being able to see. And then just, no, like, can't drive. No, no, I don't think it is. Oh really? We just can't I, drive? Like I drove in a like I went to work in a predominantly Asian like city which like has a lot of asian residents and i <laughs> swear to god every time i drove to work someone was driving in the middle of the lane <laughs> someone was turning left yeah, yeah you know how like you turn left yeah. and there's a column and like this side of the column is like the people are going this way this side of the columns you're supposed to turn into mm-hmm. i've seen people turn into the wrong column and so they're always driving asian? onto oncoming traffic mm-hmm. and i always like to drive up as fast as i can to see who it was mm-hmm. And I want to say that 85% of the time it was Asian people. You know what I think it is, though? What? I don't think they don't know the rules. I think they're just against it. I think they're just like rebellious. I keep licking my lips because they're super dry. Um, uh-huh. You think they're against it? So I you think, think like driving onto oncoming traffic is probably like a good idea? No, they just they just want to be like different ahead of time. Like it's like, you know what I mean? It's like they don't want to be like with the herd. They want to be separate. Okay. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. I'm trying to back it, but it doesn't yeah. work. They're probably just a majority of, yeah, there's, there's a lot of bad Asian drivers. I can agree with that. Yeah. Okay, good. So that stereotype is true. Next one. Yeah. Well, like the whole <laughs> the whole thing I'm saying, right, is because like in history, Chinese people have always respected the different cultures. There was never a time in history where we were like, we hate this race. Because of the race. Because of the race. Right. So you're not racist. So we're not racist. We're you're just, just stereotypical. Because I've seen a lot of people of your culture mm-hmm. uh, that are very kind once you get to know them. But before you get to know them, they hate me. Yeah. Like a lot of times I'd go into like a Asian supermarket that doesn't have a single word of English in there. And I'll be walking in and people will see me and shut the door behind them. So like <laughs> like they don't hold people, like they don't hold the door. And they just, like oh, this wow. happened to me multiple times. Okay. What, what, are, you, what are you wearing at that time? Like, what are Clothes. You? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Like, I wasn't doing anything wrong. Like, yeah, I would have yeah. held the door for them, but yeah, they yeah, just, yeah. like, I don't know. I think my white face just scares them. Maybe, yeah. Because they just shut the door behind them and, like, run it's away. Like, it's like, outside there. Yeah, but, like, I like <laughs> I love everyone. Yeah, yeah. You know what I found that I, I, you know, 
get in touch with a lot of people like people that are like maybe look at me like oh this like dumb white guy like he knows nothing mm -hmm. i i find that when i start talking about food and they introduce me to their culture about their food mm -hmm. that brings like a bond they instantly love me the second i start talking about their food if i know anything about it or uh they introduce me to something and i'm, I'm willing to learn about their culture mm -hmm. and their food they well I, how can you not yeah like i yeah. don't know why someone would do that and say i still yeah. don't like you but uh that's pretty good though. Like I do that a lot. You're a cultural person. You know a lot of yeah. People I know a lot of different, like, different cultures because that's what I do. I ask and yeah. I want to be you know, I want to be shown. Like I know a lot of the Indian culture because I have a very close Indian friend. I have a Congolese friend, Doran. We've talked about him on the podcast before. We'll get him on one day. Mm -hmm. um, he's from the Congo, but you know he's traveled a lot around Africa. So mm -hmm. I know I know a lot about the African culture. I'm not an expert by any means, but I know a lot about them enough that I can have a conversation. Like I can say I've tried different foods and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You're teaching me a little bit more about the Asian culture. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting you there. New Year's, Chinese New Year oh, New podcast Year's is, is going to go crazy. Chinese New Year's coming up. So that was going to be sick. I'm so, going to make, like, like, let's stop right now and have this for TikTok. Everyone on TikTok, Chinese New Year podcast. Whenever Chinese New Year is, we're dropping a podcast. February we're doing 8th. it at his house mm -hmm. for Chinese New Year. Yeah. And we're doing a bunch of Chinese stuff. We're doing every I'm gonna Chinese I'm going to be so day. Chinese that day. Yeah. We're, we're getting be, real Chinese. We're going to be eating money like... No, yeah. whatever you guys do, well, you'll, you stay stick along to see it. So we're posting that on. That's gonna be a clip. Yeah, TikTok. Um, who sees it first, TikTok or YouTube? TikTok who, sees it first. Who post? Like, where does it post first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TikTok definitely sees it first. Are you talking about like the short? If I'm if we post it because we post shorts and we post TikToks. Yes, we do. We post shorts and TikToks. Follow us on all of them. Um, yeah, we also started streaming. So we started streaming Young Dort, Young Ice. Yeah, link in the description. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna forget to do that. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't. We won't. Okay. Link, link in the description. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on YouTube. Also. YouTube. Well, we're we're just starting on that, but you know, yeah. watch us if you want to be a part of pizzas and pandas. Watch yeah. us. Let us know because that's live, right? You guys communicate with yeah, us. Yeah, and, and you know, like, like if you if you come. From pizzas and pandas, and you say you go into the Twitch mod, Yo, you go into huge. Twitch chat and say I'm from pizzas and pandas. Yeah. You're getting mod. Like you're in. I, I won't probably mod you, but like you're instantly getting <laughs> I'll something. Mod you. I'll like give you a follow back. <laughs> <laughs> not. I'll look at you. <laughs> I, I'll respond. No, so I'll say your name. No, I don't. I, I just don't know what mod does, so I don't know if like I don't know you. I don't know. Like, what if this video video blows up and like everyone's just commenting? <laughs> you gotta I mod everyone. Mods. I just gotta follow a bunch of people. I get banned within like five minutes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I almost got banned yesterday on Twitch. I swear to God, Actually, my friends were saying the most outlandish stuff, mm -hmm. and like it just wasn't good. You guys are saying crazy things on Twitch. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy thing to do <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> How hard is it to get banned on Twitch? I don't know. I feel like people get banned left and right on Twitch. I know. Yeah, like famous people get banned for saying like we're not famous, so hopefully they don't see it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I had a lot of fun Twitch streaming. Um. No. I'm gonna stream on YouTube as well, but I had fun. Oh, I have you. something to talk about, but you can hit me with with whatever your thing is. I'm first. gonna hit you with a little quick intermission right now. I was I was looking at some stuff, okay. uh, some cool Asian facts. Asian facts, okay. yeah. Since I'm since I'm teaching about the Asian culture, now, okay. okay. So not just Chinese, just Asian, okay. Okay. First thing I want to tell you, do you know what do you, do you know about the dynasties in China? Like that, like Genghis Khan. Like him, yeah, but he wasn't a dynasty. Oh, what is he? Uh, a ruler? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say the exact same word. He was, a, so. he was like a killer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a monster. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Um, Tell me about the dynasties. So there's multiple dynasties throughout the Chinese history. Okay. Right? And um, does that just mean like royalty? Yeah. Okay. Emperor, right? Emperor, yeah. Palpatine. Uh, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, the strongest dynasty was uh, started in the 600 CE and was called the Tang Dynasty. What's CE? Common Era. Is it not BC, before Christ? Or do they kind of scrap that? I think they scrapped that. I think mean, there's like a bunch of different names now for it because they want to be like cultural appropriate. But yeah. CE is after Christ. Oh. Yeah. What's BC? Before Christ. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we just said that. Yeah. So that's like, wait. So it's just like, what, what time? Uh, like CE is oh, after Christ. Date? 600. So oh, 600 so years it was just 600. Christ. So about like 600 years. So after like, about like four, like like 1400 years ago, because we're at 2020. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So this is the strongest one, right? And it started in 600 CE, and that was also when the Muslim culture uh, became a thing. Okay. Okay. So what's sick 
is I learned this the other day. Shout out Kaysen. Uh, we were talking about this. You remember Kaysen? I know Kaysen. Yeah. So tall, we were talking tall about football this. guy. Huh? Tall, yeah, tall football, football guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. We we're talking about this, and then does he watch the podcast? Uh, I don't think he does. Okay. But I could hook him up. Okay. Yeah, because he's 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 playing like I know, division yeah. sport like football, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people that we know that don't watch podcasts just because I didn't tell them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, basically, the first Muslim mosque was Chinese. Was created in China. Were they Chinese? What do you mean were the Chinese? The first? Were the Muslims Chinese? No, the Muslims were. Uh, I don't know. They were from the Middle, Middle East. Middle East. Yeah. So they, 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 sent, they sent the prophet, I forgot his name, it was really hard to say, okay. um, to China, talked to the emperor in the Tang dynasty, which is the strongest dynasty, and we welcomed, in, we welcomed them in with open arms, Damn. and we built them a mosque. Damn. And that was the oldest mosque. Ever. That was the first mosque. Does it still exist? Or y'all tear it still down? Exists. Oh, really? Yeah. Now we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're all tearing it down. No, it's, it's holy, right? So <laughs> I know. It's there, yeah. Oh, it was the first mosque. 1,400 years ago. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Does One thing. Yep. Um, know that though, because that, that's actually sick. So that was the first time like Muslims were a thing. Yeah, so like when they just like they created the culture, right? Um, Muslims. I, I don't that's know when the religion I, I don't know started. The specific details. That's when like the religion started. They started around like six oh seven CE, I think, and then like ten years after. Oh, so we're older than Muslims. Us Christianities are older than Muslims. I think so. Well, if, if we're basing it off Christ, yeah, I think all religions are just like intertwined. I ain't gonna lie, because like everyone has a god. They do have similar beliefs, yeah. And then you guys just don't have any. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You guys believe in spirits. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, we don't believe in. Spirits. I thought you guys believe. You believe in something. We believe in like our culture is Confucianism. Is it Confucianism? <laughs> that's what you're called. I, I you're Confucius. <laughs> we're Confucius. We're Confucius. You're just confused. We're Confucius. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I thought it was like not spirits, but like like you believe in like like the moon and the sun and like. But that's like like we don't believe in that. That's like a. Well, what do you guys believe in? Those are like myths and like. What do you believe in? We believe in like, like law of nature and like like what is? Do you know what Confucianism is? Oh, that's actually a thing. That's a thing. Oh, I thought you were just trying like confused. I was just trying to confuse you. I was just trying to confuse me. No, I wasn't confusing you. (laughs) Confusing you. Confusion, you confusioning you. I don't it's, know. A, it's an actual thing. Like it's a, it's our culture, right? Because that's kind of like the way of life that we that we. Are you guys follow. just trying to like be nice to people? And I think that's what it is. Are you just being a good person? Yeah, because we were I talking think, about it. I think more like, people just have to be confused. That's what I was thinking. More people just have to be good, bro. Confused is a good person. Confused is life. Yeah, just be a good person. Yeah, just be confused. I'm just I'm always confused. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> You see the face you move? <laughs> From the back, you see your face, like the way your face is moving. Always that's confused. <laughs> I, don't yeah. know, I don't know what's going on ever. Yeah, so that's why I was confused because I was asking him. I was like, yo, why did the Chinese people never have any exposure to all this stuff, right? Hey, and we, and we did. We had a lot of exposure to all this stuff, but we just never Believed followed Believed in it. it? So do you believe in like a god? I believe in there's a higher power. But like I I don't I don't I'm not with a religion. When did we like? How has this podcast come to this? I don't know. But uh, I'm hitting like, you with fun facts. Like, like I say, just, you eat dogs, and you're we're talking about a higher. No, power. Now we're talking about higher powers. Bro. Like it's we, like, if anyone, you know what? If anyone asks, what is my podcast Dude, about? What is our podcast? about? I don't know about? how to answer that question because it's it's nothing. <laughs> People ask me that all the time. It's what like, is your what podcast is about? Mean? Nothing. I don't say nothing. I say everything. You know what? That's way better. Yeah. Everything, I mean, yeah. whatever you like, we're gonna talk about. Exactly, it. it's like comment down below whatever you guys want us to talk hey, we'll about. We'll probably talk about it. We'll talk about it. No Get one's gonna comment. On the clip. <laughs> nah, somebody <laughs> will comment. Um, did you know in Japan, right? They have hotels. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> I do know that. Yeah, the little pod hotels too. So, the hotels are one star, two star, three star, four star, five star. Correct. I've never been, so I'm assuming so the, the, that's, that's just how it is here. And that's how it is, that's how it is here. That's how it is in Japan, okay. right? So they have little, they have little pods. So the way the way we do it mm-hmm. is is by like oh how nice it is or like whatever uh, amenities we get, stuff like that, mm-hmm. right? The way the Japanese people do it is on how many steps from the door do you take to get to the bed. So think about that. So like, if I have to go on like a long hike to the bed. Then yeah. it's a one star. So if you open the door and, and you take one step, yeah, and then you get to the bed, and that's the bed, that's a one star hotel. Oh, oh, oh. So if you take five steps, so boom, 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 bed, then that's a five star hotel. 
So then there's going to be a crap ton of five-star hotels. Sorry, I don't, I don't know if I can say crap. There's not, because the whole point of that is because the Chinese, or sorry, the Japanese um, land mm. is so small. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, so that, that's why that's why the stars is based off like how much land, how much kind of like surface like, area you have. Yeah. Is that kind of cool? That's kind of cool. It's also kind of confusing. Because you can How's go, it confusing? You just you, walk five steps, you know what star hotel you're in. I understand that, but how do you know what's a good hotel? How do you know it's a good thing? It could be like some Motel 6 where the murders happen every time, but those beds this are is super like, this close. It's like an unspoken rule. Like, this is like they do this. Like they're super close together, but this is a really bad hotel. I'm, like, I'm thinking I'm going to a five star, but I'm just walking five steps. Like, what, <laughs> how do you know what's a good and bad hotel? No, because it's like an unspoken rule. Like, they actually, like, it's like, okay, if we're, if we're doing a five star hotel and everything else is really good, your hotel room has to be five steps to the bed. So, if my hotel's. My hotel, you know how hotel rooms, there's a lot of rooms. Mm-hmm. So my hotel room's here and your hotel room's here and here's the thing. So mine's five steps. What's the thing? What's the thing? Like the lobby okay. where you enter. Yeah. My hotel room's here and yours is here. It takes six steps to get to yours. So yours is no, a six not, star hotel? Not from, the, not from the hotel door. From your room door. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how small do you think Japan is? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Five steps from a lobby door and you're in your room and you're on your bed <laughs> where people's watching you sleep from the outside? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I explained it. Did I not explain it? You I just said, said how far it is from the door. So yeah, I took it. From the entrance door. <laughs> yeah, the entrance door of the hotel. Dude. <laughs> I was like, there must be a lot of hotels because you can't fit that many rooms in a hotel. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Yes, that's then what like I mean. Five steps away, it's a bigger room. Exactly. It's a nicer room. It's a nicer hotel. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that makes so much more. That's why I was like, what if it's like a bad room, but it's just really close to the lobby? <laughs> I was thinking like maybe like like hotels are just enough, like like a circle yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so it's evenly spaced like the radius is yeah. just five <laughs> steps. Your brain was moving fast, uh, really, but not in the right way. <laughs> a really bad hotel, <laughs> just one step away. There's only a few rooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yeah, that's so crazy. that's a fun fact. Yeah, is that crazy? That's nuts. Yeah, and their and their toilets are also really high tech. I don't know. I know we have them here. We have Japanese toilets. You have Japanese this. toilets yeah. in here? The ones that like even at home. Cleans your bum, cleans it all. When you walk cleans in, the toilet to- opens for you. We have it at Does home. Does it speak to you? It doesn't speak, no. Oh, okay. I don't think, I don't know if they have like the English version that speaks. We could probably, it, it might speak, they might just turn it off. Oh. Because like, it might only speak Japanese. Japanese. You gotta just hit it sometimes. You gotta, oh, hi, yo, gozaimasu. That's how you say hello. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know that? Yeah, but what is the toilet going to say? How's it going? Like, oh, it wants it's over. To, it's like, over. It's yeah, over. what else am I going to say? There's no function to it. <laughs> I can say how's it going in, yeah. chi- in Japanese, yeah. but what's the toilet going to say back? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, I need to know the rules of the toilet. Yeah. To and do if that. they start hitting some sentence structure, you're yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, it's already, you know, it's over. So I think <laughs> yeah, they might just turn it off. Because like, oh, okay, uh, when cool. you go back to my house, we have a really like... Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Um... I want to talk to you about something, and I don't know if you're down, but I listened to a yeah. podcast called Two Bears, One Cave. <laughs> it's by... Uh, Two Bears, One Cave? What are we talking about? It's it's by, do you know Burt Kreischer uh, and Tom Segura? I do not. So they're two comedians that mm-hmm. have a, a a podcast called Two Bears, One Cave. Cool. Right, and they're doing this 5K in May, because they're trying to get people more active. Mm-hmm. So they're doing a 5K run in May. Like, and inviting okay. like all their viewers and everyone out and getting a bunch of comedians there. Um, like like they asked a bunch of comedians you've probably seen online. Any comedian you know, um, they probably asked. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wanted to do it. Like I wanted to see if wherever it is, me and you fly down. We could do it. Like they want everyone there. Can you run 3K? I can run 3K, but it's 5K. You can run three? I can run three. You I can played run five? footy. Yeah, of course I can run five. You can't? You've seen me. Oh, yeah. You have no lungs. Your lungs are I falling. I can't even run half a K. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to have to train. Yeah. Uh, we'll both train. But I'll be it. there. Okay. So I'm going to see if we can. I'm going to contact them. Mm. Maybe we'll post this on TikTok or something. Yeah. Maybe we'll vlog it. We got GoPros now. Yeah. We could We could vlog it. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Well, we're going to lock this in. Um, let's talk about one other thing for a good 10 minutes and we'll wrap it up because we've been going for about half an hour. Of course. Um, if you had to survive for 20 minutes between a grizzly bear, a hippo, a tiger 
or an alligator? What are you choosing? Okay, wow, there's so many options. Hippo, mm -hmm. grizzly, tiger, alligator. Alligator. You're choosing alligator? Yeah. Can you explain like what your thought process was? Okay, um, tiger, absolutely no. Yeah. Right? Uh, I heard about hippos being really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bear and alligator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think you made the right choice. Okay. I, just, I would choose the alligator. Yeah, because it was the first letter in the like alphabet. They, can't, they can run, like, you see alligators can run, like, 35 miles, 35 kilometers an hour. Really? But that's for, like, two meters. They can, like, it's like a burst, like, just to, like, attack the prey. They can't sustain that for over, so... Oh. Like if that. if you can just get away from it for the first rush, they're not gonna like catch you. You can yeah. just keep or you running. Can maintain a distance. Yeah, you can just keep running away. Mm. And if you're in like a a ring for twenty minutes, I think you could avoid it. Grizzly bear, you're not avoiding. You're that, eat, it's eating you up. Yeah. Hippos are like insanely dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like they kill like five hundred people a year. Now alligator, people are saying like yeah, alligators kill like over five hundred. They kill like a thousand people a year. Yeah, but that's also because. There's poverty in Egypt and stuff like that that they have to walk through the Nile where there's crocodiles in there just to get food, just to get water. Right, right, right. So like that's like just because of the situational basis. So a tiger's a tiger's nuts. Yeah, tiger's nuts. How are you gonna beat a tiger? You're not gonna beat a tiger. You're, uh, you think you could take an on an elephant, which I took a video of mm. an elephant when I went to the zoo. Mm -hmm. I have a video here, and it's yeah, only I, an, did, I did say I could take on an and elephant. it's only an Asian elephant. So I'll put up the elephant video here. Okay. I'll uh, beat you there, too. Right in front uh, of your face? Yeah, right in front of my face. All right. So it's an Asian elephant, which you said you wouldn't attack an Asian elephant. You would attack an African elephant because you don't want to fight your own kind. <laughs> yeah. um, if anyone, me, if yeah, anyone me, forgets. Get, get that quote um, in there. So the yeah. Asian elephant's smaller than the African elephant, and this elephant was huge. Uh -huh. So I just want you to know that you're not taking on an elephant, and mm. you're scared of a tiger, a hippo, and a bear, but you think you could take on an elephant. You think? Crazy. You know what would be a funny question? Or, or was a question we could try and answer right now? Yeah. Who would win out of those four if they fought each other? I, it, it, I think it just depends who went for who first. Alligator loses every time. You think so? I think so. Because it's going to maybe, if, it might grab something. Yo, it takes a leg out. What do you say? Yeah, but it might grab something and spin and take someone's leg out. It might yeah. kill one. Let's say like the tiger and the alligator. Alligator spins a block. You know how they hit the... Yeah, like 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 maybe the tiger and the alligator go, but like pumas or or jaguars or something like that <laughs> literally kill alligators. Are they actually called pumas? Yeah, a puma or a jaguar. Like I think they're two different kinds of cat. Oh, I thought um, that was just a breed. No, no, just called like, the <laughs> <laughs> like a pants I'm wearing right now. Yeah. No, um, they're actually like a cat. I think one of them, some cat like a tiger, mm. kills alligators. Okay, they jump off of trees, jump on top of them, and put their like canine tooth through their brain, and they kill the alligator, um, mm. or crocodile, whichever one it is, and they eat it. So. Alligator's getting pieced by the the <laughs> by the tiger. Yeah. The tiger's gonna Box bite him. Yeah, the, the tiger's yeah. boxing him. Yeah. Um, and then let's say the hippo versus the grizzly bear is gonna be close. I probably think you taking the hippo on that. I think I'm taking the hippo. The yeah. hippo's like bigger and stronger. They probably just and it's got a big bite force. Where like yeah. the bear's got a big bite force too, but like the hippo's got like a lot of like armor. The bear's gonna got get, less. It's mouth. gonna get. I think I'm taking the hippo because the hippo's just like an armored plate. Because like you think it's fat. It's all muscle. All muscle? Yeah. Like you're saying a tiger's claw can't dig through that? I think it'll get in, but it won't get anything, any Vital. organs. Yeah. So I think that the if we go grizzly bear, hippo, mm. tiger, alligator, tiger's going to dome the crocodile or alligator. Okay. Come out to fight the hippo, whoever wins between hippo. And I think tiger might win depending on who gets like the worst damaged. Yeah. But those two are basically like armor. Like even the hit, like the, the skin and the fur of the... Of the grizzly bears, like crazy thick. Okay, so, okay. comment down below. Yeah, I don't know why I just went a win. deep dive into there's, that. There's four, right? And then uh, comment down below who you guys are going to talk about it. Um, I think this is going to be a shorter podcast. Mm -hmm. I think we've been good. We talked about a lot of things. I think this podcast has been, it hasn't been dry. It hasn't been fire. It's been fire. Yeah. Um, so, let's see how uh, these GoPros turn out. Do you yeah. have anything else to talk about? Because I'm good. Last thing. Um, today, we're recording in uh, Dante's father's office. I am. So, shout out Papa J. Uh, shout out Papa J. Um, also, we got the painting. We got the plant. We got here. the plant. Looks nice. We keep nice, changing uh, it up. We're in a new area every time. A little aesthetic. I wish you didn't get to see that light through the reflection, but what are you going to do? We want better lighting. So Yeah, a little unfortunate, but you can see the beautiful lady uh, on this. Beautiful on this lady. Right and yeah, thank you to Papa J for doing this. Thank you. For you guys, if you made it this far, like, subscribe, follow us on Twitch, Young Doherty, Young Icy. It's been a pleasure. And link in bio.
Peace. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.